Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can get the files information which are available in one folder. When I say files information, then it means how we can get the file names in Excel sheet, file types and the file size in KB and the last modified on. When was the last modified that file? So here I have given the folder path. You can see here. Let me show you that folder. This is the folder wherein few sample files are available. Now if I will click on this get information button, then you can see I have got all the files information here. These are the name of the files and this is the file type like Microsoft Excel worksheet file or the Microsoft Word document file. This is the size in KB and this is the date and time when this file was modified last time. So this is quite useful while creating the automation of the files or you can use it to get the file information so that you can move certain files to different folder or you can rename that files. I'll tell you these things in my upcoming videos. In this video, I'll tell you how can you get these information on an Excel sheet on one click from any of the folder. So let's start. I'm going to open the Visual Basic editor. So go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic or you can press Alt F11 also. Now here I created that macro in this module one. I'll tell you from the starting. So I'm just going to insert a new module. Click on insert module. Now here I'll put that macro sub get information. Okay, now here, first of all, I'll take dim sh as worksheet and then set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and here I'll give the seat name. So I know my seat name is seat one and then here I will take dim fso as new file system object. So friends, the file system object you may not get in your VBA module. To get this file system object, you need to add a reference here in tools, reference and just select the Microsoft scripting runtime. Just check this. I have already checked it. You may get this after scrolling this somewhere here and then just check that and click on OK. And then you will type dim FSO as new file system object. And now I'll take them FO as folder and F as file. Now I'll take one more variable that is dim last row as integer. Now I'll create a loop for each file which is F in FO means the folder dot files. Next. Now here I'll put my code. So first of all I'll define the last row last row equal to and it will be access the worksheet dot range a and application dot rows dot count and then and dot excel up dot row this will be the last row but we have to put our information on the plus one after the last row because we have not defined the fo the folder okay so we have to define the folder here so set fo equal to fso dot get folder and then here we have to give the folder path. So we know we have given the folder path here in h1. So what we will do, we'll type here ss dot range h1 dot value. Just close this bracket. In the worksheet, first of all, let me delete these things. So first of all, we will give the file name, then file type. Then file size we will give in KB, then last modified on. Okay, so we'll type here SS dot range A and last row dot value equal to first of all we will give the file name, then app dot name. Then you can copy this code and just paste four times. So we will change the B in place of A and this time C and D. Now here in B, we will take file dot type. In C, we will take file dot size. So friends, one thing I would like to tell you when you will use the file dot size, 
it will return you the file size in byte so you have to convert it in kb to convert byte to kb you have to divide it by 1024 okay the last one is we will take the last modified so we will take here date last modified this one all right now here we can give some masses after the loop let's say i'm just putting done okay now just go back to the worksheet here i will insert another button okay right click assign macro so i have created this macro get information click on this button now just click here so you can see we are getting the information here so friends that is how you can get the files information on excel sheet so now how this information can be used further to do some automation activity you will learn in the next video i hope you have enjoyed this video please practice this thank you so much for watching